three minutes, first minute, calling for underhooks. Joe is a one up. This one over here. Just a minute of this. Second minute, uh, bicep pulling. And then you just rotate to the end and then push through. Rotate, push. Only about 20% energy. Then last minute, wrist pump. And try to remember to keep your elbows in. T-Rex arms. Yeah. Because you don't want to give an access. Because, you know, that becomes access. So one minute, hooks. Second minute, elbow ties. Or bicep ties. Third minute, uh, wrist ties. You can start an over under, <clears throat> and then you're both working to get a hook and tie. And if you can hold this for like a two count, like one one thousand, two one thousand. If you can't get out, then you can relate your sat, start again. Because um, <clears throat> that's our our uh, goal position for control. And an underhook on one side, a bicep tie or a wrist tie on the other side. And then to be able to hold that position for a two count. So the first minute, just go about 25%. You're not, you're not uh, giving it to them, but you're not trying to win. So the intensity is about 25%. And then we'll do it again at about 50%, where you're, you're trying a little bit more with it to win. Get that position and not give it up. A little less, a little less. You don't talk. So be real careful about overhook because that's the easy one, but it gives you weaker position. So like you were kind of, oh, I've got something. Yeah. Thank you. You gave it to me. Yeah, yeah. It gives me stronger position. Because you want, what are the four points? Inside, for me. Inside control. It's one. Head position and just position. Position. Uh, posture. Posture, which is your Kamai. So Kamai has to be there. And the last one. So you got posture, position, inside control. Hands. Hands. Track the hands. Because the hands are where he's what he's going to use to pull weapons or to hit you with. So you've got to know where his hands are. This goes back to like the idea. So posture means you can take on energy. And you can give energy. Position makes it easier because you put yourself in a position that's weak to him. That's easy to drive him. Right? <clears throat> Uh, inside control, well, monitoring the hands, which that's why you have inside control. Because now hey, it's going to be really difficult for him to draw a weapon, whether on me or on himself, without me being able to figure out what's going on or to do something about it. And the inside control also gives me more access to his body, which gives me more leverage. Right? So the reason we're going for a hook and tie is it provides us the most options for escaping the clinch because there may be another attacker. Um, it also uh, gives us more like attack options too because you think about it, you've got this, I mean you're basically a nutsick naga. You just have to 
adjust it a little bit, and then you've got Kensington Highway. Or you're in here and you want to bypass the head control. Now you got his hips, now you can do hip throws. So it gives you a lot of options. Plus, you can draw weapons off him because if you're racing to a weapon, like I've got a weapon on my, you know, I see a weapon on his hip, I can get that quicker. Right? And then it provides us the escape options, which we'll look at in a minute. So this time, same thing, you're trying to get a hook and tie. That's the ideal position. Right? From there, you've got your options of escaping to the back or to tie them up or you know, uh, to do techniques, which we're not worrying about techniques yet. Because I want a, you want to build it, build your community on something that's robust, but also is solid for self-defense first. Then technique second, because technique requires like, lots of different techniques like throwing, arm locks, that sort of thing, take more skill. So, all right, so any questions? So this time, competitive, you're trying to get the hook and tie and not let him get it. And within all this, I mean, that drill is kind of limiting because you're only grappling. There's no striking or anything, which would help. You know, throwing in a hip here and there to help get you positioned, but this at least ingrains you know what you're going for. But say you get your position, all right? And I don't want to stay here if I can help it. You know, sometimes it's just you collide. You know, you're fighting, whatever, and there's a collision. <laughs> well, in that collision, you want to get a, a better position, right? And I don't want to break contact in front of them, so if I, like, lose here, punches are right there, he may knock me out. It's also the case, like, if he backs out, like, he doesn't like this, and he backs out, you should well on him, right? <clears throat> so... But let's say he's, we're in here, and I want to escape. So I'm going to drop my level, take a big step behind for the duck under on the hook side, lift this up. So drop the level, take a big step, lift this up. Get your head through, look, get to the back. <clears throat> so, so here, really sink and step, so you get your head and then look up. And I like to look across the corner and drive into it, so it takes the balance a little bit. So you duck, you do a duck under on whichever side your head is on. If your head is on this side, then you can raise this up and do the same thing. Drop a level, get your head through, what you don't want to do, I don't want to duck and then get caught here. So drop, look up. That makes it really tough for him to get that guillotine hold. And again, cut through him, taking his waist, taking the hips. Here, I don't really have his back truly, so I'm gonna move. And kind of see how ratchet that throws the bounce off as well. So, Whatever side the head is on, this is the side you can back under to. Hook side, drop the level step. Really drop to get clear under this. Raise your hand as high as you can. And cut through. Get the waist. Sometimes you'll have this hand in there too. Then I have options from there. Pulling a weapon or pushing them off. Like on the tie side. 
Again, lift this up, drop your level, look up. Right? Drive through and get control of the waist, knee hand up. So play with that a little bit. Those two. The duck under on the tie side and the hook side. 